<laughs> Salutations, everybody, and welcome back to Black Rhino Rangers live stream. It has been many of months since we've lost encountered each other, but now I have returned. But of course, I'm still demonetized. I still have no idea how to gain it back unless I delete some copyrighted claim stuff, which may or may not affect my YouTube algorithm, but uh, I'll think of something. In the meantime, you can just join me on Patreon or subscribe to one of my DeviantArt's subscriptions for any rule free or three and three requests. For now, I'm not doing any rule free or theme read requests on this live stream. So uh, for this occasion, you're going to help me recreate a monster created by... Um, by Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein. And, and she created basically a story of a doctor named Victor Frankenstein. Sorry, I'm a bit rusty. It's been a long time since i um, done these narrations. It's a, I'm a little jumble. It's a bit rusty. Sorry. Um, all you got to do is give me some I ideas of which type of head, which type of body part of whatever fictional character or whatever you want me to come up with. And I'll draw it up here, and I would have create, and you can help me create the ultimate Frankenstein monster. The, it can be scary, it can be something you like, or it can be something you don't like. The possibilities are endless. Oh, okay, uh, if it, uh, that's uh, what you uh, what I want. And uh, speak now. I heard now some people have been ta asking me about what did I think of the Mario, oh, um, life, um, trailer. Well, um, I will say uh, it does look pretty good. Illumination does kn know how to craft a good-looking film, even if the designs are a bit um, simplistic. But um, I say they're very good at business. And I hear very few people complaining about uh, working at the studios. I mean, some women are not happy at working at Pixar when John Lasseter was in charge, and uh, Sony Pictures Animation once had those angry, once had a bunch of angry letters. And um, what was that? Yeah. And of course, there's. Um, um, DreamWorks had to have a few layoffs, and a lot of projects were canceled, including the uh, the highly anticipated Boo, which is like a kitty version of Ghostbusters. The director wanted to the director wanted to work on that, but since he got fired for it with the layoffs, he had to go to Sony Pictures Animation and make the Emoji Movie. <laughs> So and um, and as for the Mario movie, um, the the voice uh, like most people, the voice acting is fine for the most part. I think they need to work on the Mario voice thing. I mean, uh, some of you prefer the uh, type of high pitched Italian accent. Uh, here we go. Or some of you probably would want him to have a Brooklyn type of accent. You know, uh, kind of like something out of uh, a live action Mario show or a, a Super Mario movie. How's about that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I like to talk about the Emoji movie. I mean, it's so it's so fascinating. <laughs> um, I know, it's terrible in in almost every way, shape, or form, but uh, eh, as, a, as a bad movie, well, like I said before, I've seen worse. <laughs> oh, mm. And also, the, since this is one of the more simpler live streams, this probably would only last for about an hour. And while during that hour, I might as well do some simple recolorings. Hmm. It's very easy. Okay, that's the head taken care of. Um, now, what do we do with the upper torso? <laughs> Da -da -da. 
I sit ahead of a unicorn. Oh, somebody asked me to do Mario. That was a... Uh, oh, somebody, you wanted me Unicron. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a bit difficult. The Unicron is kind of a toughie. So, um, sorry about that. And uh, anyways, um... <laughs> yes. Um, so. Now, uh, where was I on the... Oops, that wasn't right. Okay, uh, somebody's got the uh, upper body of a ye of a giant ye. See, better known as Wax. Oh wait, that's that was the old character. That was the old name he used. That nowadays he goes by the name of Skips. <laughs> the, yeah, did, yeah. For those who don't know, his original name was Wax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's the upper torso done. Um, now let's next on the list. Now, now depending on now if you're at now if you're at this Frankenstein's point of view, the left shoulder would be uh, the more over here rather than over here. Uh, I like I have the left over here if you don't mind. So, uh, anyways. Um, What's what should be the shoulder? What should be the shoulder? So, so can you show me all the parts of Frankenstein? Um, hmm. Uh, which? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, which shredder? Which shredder? Is it the two thousand and seven shredder? Is it the nineteen eighty seven shredder? Is it the uh, two thousand and three shredder? Is it the two thousand twelve shredder? Is it the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shredder? <laughs> Oh, the 80s version, okay. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> that wasn't right. I'll just um I'll do some rubbing off on the on some of the construction in a moment. And I'm doing it right now. Now in case you're wondering, I uh, no I have not seen the Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie yet. I do plan to do so, but first I need to uh rewatch the uh two thousand and eight cartoon first. I feel like I need to refresh in on my viewing of the of the rise of the TMNT. Okay, the the left shoulder is done. And um, now the f now next stop is the uh, Oh, uh oops, uh, just just a minute, just a quick moment. I think I made a middle of a boo boo there. Um Hey, and uh, there we go. Sorry about that. I, I thought I was something missing. Um, Dr. Ivo Robotnik, then the Avengers of Sonic the Hedgehog version, the the Sonic Saturday AM version, the Sonic Underground version, Sonic Boom, the game, Sonic X, uh, whichever. Okay. <laughs> and uh, what was it again? Um. Don't. 
Survivor Robotnik. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm just thinking about what if Jim Carrey ever said, um, snooping as usual, I see. Hmm. Hmm. I have to go on. In a way, he um, uh, he has created Scratch and Grounder out of some mixed and match parts of whatever he dumps into that uh, in that robot making machine. Like the strength of of an anvil, hideousness of a stuffed lion toy, ferociousness of a mask, supreme rotteny of some rotten eggs, and brilliance of some education. <laughs> Yeah, let's see here. Um, Sonic Blue made a reference to that meme. Uh, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me uh, let me just uh, let me just uh, get rid of the hand for a minute. Sometimes yeah, even the doctors can even the doctors can make a mistake, make on their first try. Like uh, okay. Let me uh, let me try um. Oops! Oops! <laughs> so some of the some of the comments are a bit fast. Um, um. <clears throat> hmm. Very uh, standard. Um. Sorry, I'm just uh, looking at. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is um Oh and I think I better label I think I have to label my uh my um my thing so just in case I forget what it is. Um Mario Skips Um uh sure don't worry, I'll, I'll move, um, okay. uh, um, what was it again? Um, okay, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, move, um, the, um, the list, um, Put it in a different uh, there. Now, who gets the right shoulder? Yeah. All right. Um. Let's see. Here. Hmm. And which Nemesis Prime? There. There's the G1 version, the Armada, the uh, um, Prime. I don't think there was an animated version. Um. Let's see here. Uh, and well, hmm, was it? Huh, wait, was it? Uh, oh, there was. Oh, G One Nemesis, and there was an there was an animated version in Japan. Okay. Um. I never know to stat. Oops, uh, that that came out wrong. And it's um, now this one's a little bit more detailed than that, so uh, give me a bit of time. <sighs> Sorry, I was just thinking about uh, had I not done my had I not had that thing taken away from me I probably would have enjoyed doing a Transformers live stream but the request challenge I did is uh, is fine too hmm.
Oh, whoops, uh, let me just uh, delete that part for a moment. I actually find the Decepticon logo easier to draw than the Autobot logo. Okay, let me just uh, color the... Um, and a little extra... Zooming on the... That's uh, that's uh, Nemesis Prime for you. Um, okay. Uh, next up is uh, hmm. The forearm is uh. Mm -hmm. There's a bit of um it's uh, this one is pretty simple. Uh oops I, I drew put in the wrong spot. There you go. I think I, I'm not sure there was a. I think I think I did remember there was a Halloweenish Invader Zim episode. Maybe there wasn't. I can't remember. Um, now for the hand of whatever. Let's see. We've only got. And there's the right hand. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, it's pretty much uh, every other Lego character. It's not much. Um, um, bless the hearts. It's a hmm. Hmm. Um. Uh, did he get? Did he lose his hand in in a fight with uh, with a with a boy who never grew up, and um, he um, and he fed it to the crocodile. Blast good form! Did he show good form when he did this to me? <laughs> yeah, let's see. What else is there? Um, Now for the lower torso, the uh, the uh, pelvis, if you will. <laughs> hmm. Uh, let me uh, see. Let me see. Let me see. Um. There's a bit. Okay, she has a bit of a. Uh, oops. Yeah, I think that's uh <laughs> Wait, let me just uh let me just add in a little um
There we go. I think that a I... again, I I have not seen Bless the Hearts. So I'm I I am trying to. I'm it's for, is it available on Disney Plus where you guys live or and because uh I I. I don't know, what, or is it in another streaming service? It's, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, who gets the pies? A chicken pie? <laughs> hmm. And again, the left is over here and right is over there. Hi ho, Kermit the Frog ear. <laughs> I'm still convinced that the our current Kermit. Um, our current Kermit. <laughs> Try saying that ten times fast. Kermit, 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 Kermit. Is nothing more than Constantine in disguise since Matt Vogel took over as Kermit. <laughs> now for the calf, the uh, extra part of the leg. Nope. You see the... Uh... Hmm. That's that's a that's a bit of a new one. Hmm. Any yeah, surprise? Uh, a lot of simplistic, uh, simplistic. Um, You know, Kiriko is a bit of a Frankenstein monster herself. She's a part bird, she's part palm tree, and she's part plane. And I just need to remind myself uh, which where she's from. There's like a dozens of characters named Coco. Fresh Bandicoot, uh, My Little Pony, uh, um, what was it again? Um, I think that was a character in Pink Fong that was also named Coco. I don't know. <laughs> Now, in case you're wondering, no, I'm not doing the stitches because uh, um, I think this is already creepy as it is. <laughs> it's a love. Okay. And now for the right leg. Hmm. Now who's it gonna be, fellas? Uh, ooh, that's that's a that's a that's a bit of a challenge. Hmm. I'm all for it. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, um, and uh, hmm.
here. Okay, I'm just gonna stop right there. Oops, that, that did not come up right. Wait. Hmm. Okay, so um, that's um, that's the best I can do for Master Chief, and I think we're just we're nearly done. And this might be the the other parts thing might be a two parter. So um, just uh, letting you know there. Um. Okay, um, oh, so somebody wants to me to draw the clutching foot, see? Somebody wants to try the other thing, see? Um, I'll see what I can do, see? <laughs> but first, I think somebody wants me to draw something else. Kind of sounds like Huckleberry Finn, but it's a, it's a dog instead of, and it doesn't have fins. I'm a darling, I'm a darling, I'm a darling Clementine. <laughs> Well, you got your wish, and had I done that hand of our bearer live stream, I'd probably be speaking with something like this all the time. <laughs> hmm, let's see, let's see, uh, thing, and, uh, I think, see, and, uh, what was it? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, just a... Uh, hmm. If, if, but, but if uh, Lenny actually saw this, it'd be a bit of a fashion nightmare. Okay, I think we have enough time to do one or two more parts. You got some ideas for other parts? What is it going to be? Um, okay, um... Okay, um, no, it's a bit too big. That's the tail part done. And uh, what was the? Yeah, you want to give it some. Hmm. Um, just a quick moment. Okay. Um. Oops. That that wasn't right. And now, with a jolt of electricity, let me uh, finish 
correcting this. Let me start finish this part. Um, Yeah, let's see how it turned out. Ah, look, look, it's moving. Okay, no, it's not moving because uh, it's a still image, but uh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. So I have to do this in a very soft voice as I can because my folks are sleeping. But, uh... Yeah, I think that should do it for this live stream. I mean, we're only about 30 minutes in. I thought it would last an hour, so I was thinking, yeah, ha, 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 ha. What was that? Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, ha, 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 Let me just give you a better look. Um. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Oh no! The headless horseman has come for our heads! Or maybe not. I think I can find a way to satisfy the headless horseman before he heads back to the sleepy hollow tree. I have some other ideas of what heads could be used. Now for this bonus challenge, request me to draw any character's head in it it can be absolutely any head you want characters you either love or hate or whatever it is your choice Now I'll, I'll draw the uh, I'll draw the uh, sack uh, extending the sack later, but uh, for now just uh, just uh, uh, the um. actually let me put the headless horseman somewhere where I can um, where I can um, so I need to expand on the uh, just drawing a little straight line so I can so I have enough room for more heads. And uh, all and and keep requesting these heads until um, until the uh, the hour is up. And don't worry, there's, it's not going to be bloody. There's I'm not going to include any blood in it. I'm just going to include the heads. So what other heads are there? <laughs> Well, somebody, well, somebody, I say, somebody's been busy at KFC. I'm the. Now, I don't think I got my beak right. <laughs> And for a fun fact, a Hoghorn Lake Corn actually did do some KFC he promos. I was like, isn't that like advertising your own? And uh, there's, a, there's even a BoJack Horseman episode about it. <laughs> hmm. A witch blue. Blue's clues? Okay, it's um, Caparaja. Hmm. 
And it might be a little too big to fit in the headless horseman's sack, so um But also knowing that uh, his, he is basically undead, I can definitely see the uh, his the sack being somewhat uh, fireproof. Georgia, let's turn me day. Nah, nah, that's not. <laughs> I think I remember the time when uh, a dialect interrupted a nativity scene. Oh wait, that was just Mr. Bean playing with the nativity scene. <laughs> I think that was like my introduction to the whole Doctor Who, who thing. Um, e either that or was probably Looney Tunes back in action. <laughs> oh, um. Hmm. And I'm gonna tell she ain't gonna be pleased with, uh, with um the, the results of. Of her decapitation and um, by the way you probably don't know this but um, one once upon a time I used to have the uh, I used to do this option where I have a uh, light well, I tend to have this the highlights um, with a black outline hmm. but nowadays I feel like uh, I don't think it's necessary I, I want it to be a little bit more uh, and a thin I, I wanted to get rid of the outline for the white circles, the highlights, because, uh, I don't know, I just thought like it was necessary. If I want to try and be a little bit more faithful to something like the Owl House designs. One thing about me you should know is that if there is a character that I'm drawing for the first time, I first have to try and get the, uh, I first have to try and get the um, idea, draw the character based on what he act, what he, she, or they actually look like, first before I decide, before I put my own spin to it. And if and after drawing it multiple times drawing that character multiple times, that's when I decide he, uh, he, I can have my own personal touch to the characters. Even if I, even if it isn't as faithful to the original show as possible. I mean, there are plenty of fan stuff that, um, that, there are plenty of fan arts where people have their own personal takes on their characters and even sometimes their own personality takes on them. Like, um, there's a lot of different shippings on the Owl House that not a lot of people are fond of. And everybody, I mean, there's a there's a moment, there's a, in fact, some some people even posted their reactions in the form of other characters. Yes, like uh, there's a there's a moment where there's I think there was a moment when people start trying to ship. Uh, Lilith with other characters, despite the fact that in real life, I mean, in the actual show, uh, confirmed by uh, their, by Dana and even the even the voice actress for Lilith, yeah, she's an ace like SpongeBob. Oh, you want to, you want that? Um... But what did the duck do that was terrible? 
I mean, it's uh, the headless horseman going after a um a, ch a toddler. That's 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 mean for the headless horseman. Then again, that there's that film by John where Johnny Depp stars as the headless horse. Where Johnny, there's that film where, which stars Johnny Depp in the Sleepy Hollow, where the headless horseman actually uh, does decapitate a child, off screen that is. I actually remember seeing that as a kid. My parents were demented. <laughs> Not really. I'm. My mom actually thought it was okay for seven or eight year old me to watch. Sleepy Hollow. The <laughs> a punching Japanese equivalent of Pinocchio. I remember that he was once used as a mech for a guest character. Um, I think. It's funny that I'm drawing something that's. Uh, um, and funny that I'm doing um, um, two things that are all related. <laughs> I guess uh, Merlin is a bit tired of that old bird. Yeah. Sorry if you heard that sound, that, that was a mosquito on me. Mm. Little buzzards like the like my very essence. And I think I'll just do it like um <laughs> Be glad it wasn't like Owl <laughs> uh, from Winnie the Pooh. I don't know if you can decapitate uh, that wor owl worm's head. It, the owl worm, the one that's in charge of the house. Did you see the Loud House episode Save Royal Woods? I have. Then it kind of contradicts every. Kind of is a, isn't that a little contradictory with the Loud House movie and stuff? I mean, I was hoping that would be they would reference something from the Loud House movie. Gee, huh? I have not heard. Okay, maybe I have, but oh, another star. Okay. Oh, I think I need to include that little uh, green stuff because um, there you go, <laughs> Mister. What's what's? Hmm. Sure has a lot of uh, oops, that was not right. K 
Okay, 15 more minutes and then I'll see how many hits the Headless Horseman has collected before he enters back into his sleepy hollow. Um, Jules, Jules S. Mon. Hmm, there's that taken care of. Uh, anybody, anybody else want to have? Hmm. Another 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 live stream I was hoping to do was um, the DC Comics live stream. It was originally supposed to be in two parts, where I have um, it was originally supposed to be in two parts, where I have um, I know I'm not supposed to do this yet, but uh, what the heck? Um, where it was supposed to be uh, the first part was supposed to be about the heroes, and the other part was supposed to be about the villains. Um, 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 and it was supposed to be a r roughly around the around the Comic Con mm, stuff. Or I think there was a, there was a there was an anniversary of DC during July or June or something. But um, anyways, um, it was um, supposed to be, and I, and I would have had a lot of fun drawing. In the DC comic characters, <laughs> well, f mostly there. Like I said before, there was one, there was one um, DC comic book um, show. I'm not a com gigantic fan of, and it's not Teen Titans Go. Let me tell you, I'm able to stomach that show, well, quite fine, believe it or not, <laughs> but. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. The other one would be uh, now that I would now I would give people a lot of different options for what would be. Uh, for the DC villains, would it be the Legion of Doom? Would it be the Brotherhood of Evil? Would it be? Hmm, would it be something? Would it be a mixture of various villains, the, the Arkham Asylum, etc. Oh, what's this? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, ten more 
Let's um I feel bad that I have the cute some of the cute characters in the bag. Is she a Fennec, Fennec fox or is it a regular fox or some, some, so some other canine? Because her ears are very big, let's say. And, it, and, the, and as far as I'm aware, I, the show I see has a lot of places taking place in the desert. That's where the Fennec fox resides. Okay, um, what else, what else? <laughs> well, that was a character that not a lot of people like, but... Uh, but hey, I, I can... <laughs> but hey, it's kind of fitting in this scenario. <laughs> you know, here's a here's a funny thing about this character. Um, when I first saw Snips and Snail Snips and Snails from uh, from uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, the first thing I when I think of when I look at Snips was in fact Bing Bing Boy, the uh, the um, character from Johnny Tess, and down to the point that he even they even share the same voice actor. I, I did once make a Johnny Test uh, video where I had some voice actors. There's, um, like I said, I once made a video called Johnny Test Voice Actors in Milo Pony. Because back then, believe it or not, I actually was a bit of a fan of Johnny Test. Test. Um, um, I kind of gave up on the series sometime around season 5 or 6 because uh, I think Dookie's voice kind of put me off. Even though he is voiced by somebody who who I do recognize in season 5. Before he used to be voiced by uh, somebody else who has now moved to Brazil. And let's see. Um... Trevor Duvall, that that's it. Um, I heard he now lives in the United States, and he has. And he, I did remember he once uh, did in. Uh, he once did in. Um, and he 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 once had a role in Skylanders, and he he even had a role in in. I think he also once did he once play Rocket Raccoon. I can't remember, but. Uh, Yeah, actually, this one's a little too complicated. Um, and try something else. Five more minutes. Five more minutes, and then.
I just can't bear to see his eyes open when in the bag like in something like this. Now, I don't think I drew him right. Let me, um... Okay, that's taken care of. And, uh... Okay, another... And after this one, I think I might have enough time to do just one more. Oops. And I think we have enough room for one more. Oh, that one was a bit. That one's a bit tough. That one's a bit too tough. Um. Oh, over there. They're kind of my favorite. <laughs> but at least it gets the job done. If anything, I kind of preferred if it was Becky, because uh, she's the one who did all the wrongdoing. Sid uh, is not a, is not a name is not a complete angel her. So, I mean, she did cause a bit more harm than good during that uh, uh, zoo f fun thing. Raising funds to help save the zoo thing, but 
she was always but she was always um she was just trying to help just trying to And I think that's about it. Now to wrap up the the thing in uh, Santa's uh, opposite of Santa's sack. I kind of think he's more like the Krampus. Wait, wrong hol wait, wrong holiday. <laughs> That's a, such a, that's such a, <laughs> man, he must have, a uh, yeah, headless horseman must be really, really strong to carry all those, uh, heads. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> have I seen Rise of the Guardians? Yes, I have. I kind of wish it was a sequel. In fact, I kind of wish the sequel to Rise of the Guardians would have, um, the Cupid, the Krampus, um, Mother Nature? Um, I'm not sure. Um, Sprite Fright. No, I have not. Um, and, uh, I think there was a, I think there was a, I think there was a Illuminati, perhaps? It's just an I or it's just an idea. <laughs> Anyways, um. That's uh that's it for this live stream. Sorry if you if I was not able to get any uh free requests, but um hey, at least um wait, what am I saying? These are free requests. Um it's rule free or theme free requests. Um because I like I said before, eh no more money coming to my account. So uh if you want to have a rule for your theme re request of any kind, just come on down to my Patreon or subscribe to one of my tiers on DeviantArt. Thank you for joining me and Happy Halloween! Enjoy some trick-or-treating and I hope you've enjoyed this video.